Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Noel. Today we are reviewing the Magic 5 goggles. So today we're here poolside at my condo and this is the usual pool that I use to swim at. There's a bit of noise in the background because there's actually a Sunday mass going on. <laughs> So we're gonna try to do this as unobtrusively as possible. So I've had these goggles for about two weeks now and there was a bit of a lead time between when I ordered them and when they arrived in my US warehouse and then from there I sent it on to the Philippines. They have this app on their phone which you can use to scan your face and then they take data points from that image scan and basically design the gasket around the shape of your face or the shape of your eye sockets. You will notice this in my, my goggles themselves. There is a difference between the right gasket and the left gasket. They also come with different nose pieces so that you can adjust it according to the width and the height of your nose bridge. Yeah, let's take it in the pool. So I found it a little um, finicky to fit the goggles around my head because these um, these straps are quite adjustable and sometimes on certain days my hair sits higher on my head or lower and so under the swim cap it just feels a little strange um, it can be looser it can be tighter so it really depends and um, yeah you do have to take a few laps with it to determine whether you fitted the straps on properly for the day. The goggles fit up there, but you can also pull them down and uh, adjust on the top strap. The gaskets are pretty soft, but they also don't have a lot of flare around them. So. And this one's obviously too tight. And this could also roll up, so it's really quite finicky fitting them on. But I suppose if you don't have that much hair, it's a little bit easier to make sure that the straps are fitted correctly. <laughs> Okay, so that wasn't too bad. The, the brand promise is that you won't need to feel like there's something suctioning your eyeballs out, and that's the case. The main problem is that if, you, if your face changes expression while you're swimming, like for instance you squint in the water, you might break that seal that your skin is making with the gasket. So. I'm wearing contacts. I know that ophthalmologists really prefer that you don't wear contacts while you're swimming because it increases the risk of infection, but it's something that I've, ha I've been doing for the past 10, 11 years that I've been doing triathlon. So yeah, I really try to avoid letting water into the goggle itself. By tightening the, the goggle so that no water gets in. And so when I first started wearing the Magic 5 goggles, which they're a little bit looser than I'm accustomed to. It's a little disconcerting, but at the same time, it's a little liberating that you don't feel like your eyeballs are gonna get sucked out with the goggles. So yeah, they're quite comfortable. And I'll talk to you guys a little bit more after I finish my session. Okay, that's the end of my session. It took about an hour even with rest breaks. And you can see here that it did still leave some goggle marks on my face. 
but they aren't as deep red and angry as usual. I did have to tighten my goggles a little bit at the start of the session as you saw, uh, just to make sure that they were uh, a good tight, not really tight, but um, they, they were a leak proof fit. I didn't have to take my goggles off at any point during the session just to clear the water out or you know sometimes it gets kind of foggy in my older goggles but this one was pretty good. The Magic 5 goggles do have an anti-fog coating on the inside of the goggles. They tell you not to scrub the inside of your goggles just to make sure the anti-fog doesn't uh, rinse off or anything like that. So yeah, pretty good session today, uh, uninterrupted by any goggle troubles. And as you can see, actually the, the, the red marks are um, starting to disappear. They're not really deeply embedded into my skin. When it comes to how custom these gaskets are, I haven't asked anyone to try wearing my goggles yet. So. Uh, yeah, these are mine. I do have some strange um, things going on around my eye sockets. Um, this cheekbone is slightly higher than this one. So it's nice to see those differences accounted for in these goggles. <laughs> um, so yeah, you've probably seen a lot of advertising around Magic 5, um, especially from major triathletes like Yao Godino who wear these goggles now. Yeah, if you scroll Instagram for any prolonged period of time and you do tend to like triathletes posts, you'll get served with the ads for the Magic 5. They do say they ship to the Philippines, but for me, I have trust issues with the postal service here in the Philippines. So what I did was I sent them to one of my freight forwarding addresses in the U.S. provided for by shipping cart. And then from there, I paid for the postage to the Philippines. It takes about 7 to 10 business days to air freight my stuff from that forwarding address to my doorstep. So yeah, I just felt more reasonably assured that these would make it to me safely rather than trusting direct postage. My experience with these goggles has been really good um, except for that part where the fit was a little finicky at the start and I needed to understand how it should feel around my head, how tight it should feel around my eye sockets. So I would still have a good seal, but I wouldn't get the that suction feeling on the eyeballs as well as the tension headache from having the, the band around my head too tight. Especially as I start ramping up my swim mileage, I'll definitely appreciate not having the raccoon eyes from um, the goggles pressing into my eye sockets. And I really do think that the Magic 5 was a good investment. It's kind of pricey compared to other goggles. Roughly around $20 more expensive than uh, an uncustomized goggle from another premium goggle brand. But yeah, if you're somebody who's been having trouble finding that perfect fit with the generic goggle gaskets, then the Magic 5 might be a good thing to look into. So that's it. For me today, uh, I swam through half the mass that was being held at the clubhouse here. I only have an hour to be here at the pool and that's over with, so I have to pack up. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to see you next time. Bye guys!